So hey guys, thought I'd make a quick video on how to make money with the auction house. Now this is um, a way of making guaranteed money, but it requires quite a bit of time and you may actually be better off grinding. I've just won all these items off the auction house and um, this is my third load so far today. So I'm going to be keeping the ores because I quite like um, doing a lot of stuff with the ores seeing as how I'm into blacksmithing. It's my fourth load of goods, another 50 items, so I'm up to about 200 items now. As you can see a lot of these are outbids and I'm going to make a profit on every single item. Sell all my stuff making a profit on every single item. Now, this is classic, okay? There are some different rules about classic, so for a start, but the hours on the auction house are actually different from retail. Putting items on the auction house, it seems quite expensive. So as you can see, I'm up to about seven gold at the moment. And I'm gonna be reinvesting all of this gold into the auction house. The time here is two hours, eight hours, or 24 hours, which actually is better for making profit. So if I'm honest, I'm a bit reluctant to make this video because um, I'm actually gonna be using this method. So um, if you're on Pyrewood, then feel free to use this method if you want to, but just bear in mind, you're gonna be competing against me and a whole bunch of other people, which is fine, it's a free market. It's the first thing you want to do is you want to download an add-on called Auctioneer for WoW Classic. This will change the interface of the auction house. So you'll have a scan button and you'll have the appraiser. Okay, so the appraiser will tell you all about your um, item and how much it's worth. You've got your search filters. Now these are incredibly powerful. You've got your post. So let's say I wanted to sell this um, bar on here so again okay, i've put the item in here it said i've got 25 of these items i can tell them a, a stack of 20 or a stack of five for example i can change the price and things i've got the bean counter which i think just displays data so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna scan okay now a scan will scan all of the items on the auction house currently now the scan on wow classic is quite quick right um we're talking about two three minutes here so it's not too bad to be honest now look, bear in mind, if you're leveling, then it may actually be worth your time just being out in the field and, you know, killing creeps and actually completing quests. You might make more money that way um, than actually through the auction house. And bear in mind, when you do that, you're gaining experience anyway. The scan of the whole auction house here took 5 minutes 12 seconds. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my search tab. I'm going to click on Vendor, okay, and these filters are all really useful um, for doing various things, but Vendor is my favourite. I'm going to click Search, then first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on Reason Buy, and I'm going to buy out these items, okay. Now generally there might be some buy items or most of them are going to be bid, so now I've got for buy items, okay. Now buy items basically you um, buy them and sell them to a vendor and you make a profit. Now rest of the items are bid, okay? So personally what I do is because other people are using this method, including possibly you now, <laughs> um, I'm going to go to left. This is the amount of time that's left. And as you can see all of these have less than two hours and I've got seven gold. So I'm just going to literally go through and bid on a load of these. Um, and as you can see, each one requires me to um, click the yes up here. Okay. Now, what happens is if it gets stuck, close the program, reopen it up, and it should just carry on. Now, bear in mind that all of these items I'm bid bidding on have less than 12 hours. Some of them are gonna be um, bid on by other people. But nevertheless, I've just got like over seven gold, right? So that's quite a lot that I can um, actually bid on. And every single one I will guarantee to make a profit on. So I'm still um, bidding guys, and you can use the interface whilst it's bidding. So as you can see, these are all my bids. I'm the highest bidder on all of these so far. For some reason, a lot of people were um, putting lever items on at far less than what they're actually worth. Maybe it should have actually gone into lever instead of into um, ores. So if you've already bid on an item or the item isn't available for whatever reason, the auctionator will just basically skip over it, okay? And remember if there's um, 
if the program stops running, which it probably will at some stage, then just close it and talk to the auctioneer again. Okay, so as you guys can see, I had about seven gold or over seven gold. I've put that gold into the auction house um, on bids, which we can have a little look at now. So as you can see, there's a lot of bids here um, for a lot of different items. Now, probably about a third of them I'm probably going to be outbid on. So I've been outbid on the Lesser Moonstone. That doesn't really matter. I mean, you just get some spam, but that's kind of OK. So I'm going to show you another way to actually make money on the auction house. This is a bit sneaky and you probably shouldn't do this. Some people just um, use add ons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a buyout price of one silver and one copper here. OK, it's going to cost me 12. But what that does is if anyone's being super lazy, they're just going to shuffle their items on, um, then a lot of programs are going to automatically um, adjust the price to the minimum price, right? So people are going to be putting tin bars and tin ore on the auction house at about one silver. You can actually make money from the fashions. So I'll give you an example. These rough bronze leggings, right? Now these are worth nine silver and a half, okay? And they only take six bronze, right? You can generally buy copper really, really cheap right now on the auction house. One silver each for um, one copper. Now I did see a load of um, stacks of 10 copper off about three um, silver earlier, but nevertheless, this is a good price, right? So in order to make bronze, I need one copper bar and one tin bar, right? When we looked at copper ore, the copper ore was selling for one, um, silver basically so i'm going to be making 33 percent profit if i actually buy copper ore now of course in order to make this work i also need tin now tin's more expensive right at the moment so here's the thing if the price of tin drops quite a lot then that actually means for example um i've got my tin on here that should hopefully drive down the price a little bit maybe tin bars so again, there's 20 for about 50, so um, that's way too expensive to actually make any profit on. Just keep an eye on the auction house and all the different materials. Keep an eye on what you can actually produce, because selling these to vendors, right? You can actually make quite a bit of money, providing that the mats are, you know, cheap enough. As you can see, right, my item that I put on has actually driven down the price. So guys, I'm going to buy this, okay? I'm going to buy this tin bar, right? And I've already got a load of copper because like copper, like I say, has been very, very cheap. So I'm going to smelt my tin and copper into um, bronze. OK, so I've just turned 20 tin bars into 40 bronze bars because you get two bronze for one copper and one tin. I uh, sorry, I'm now going to create six bronze leggings. See now I've um, <clears throat> got my bronze leggings. OK, um, now. My um, gold cap was about one gold 25 before. So I'm going to sell these um, bronze leggings. OK. And as you can now see, I've got one gold 60. Right. The other good thing about auctioneer is you've got the this column here that tells you how cheap things relatively are. This item is 73% of the average price. So again, this is probably quite cheap. Now, I actually have no idea how well iron buckles sell. But um, I'm, I'm sure other professions use them. But you've got your gold bars here. Again, you can use a lot of your um, rock that you gather to create coarse grinding stones, which again sell quite well, um, sometimes on the auction house. Though you don't get guaranteed profit. These, again, they can be very, very cost effective to make, providing you can get the mats for a uh, fairly cheap price. Again, these are quite good. So um, you can turn your rocks, which are basically very, very cheap, and silver into these um, silver bars, which again, you can sell to a vendor or sell them the auction house if you want to. So I'm always quite skeptical about selling weapons on the auction house because people um, generally, if they buy a weapon, they really want the best, right? And generally the weapons that you produce are not going to be the best. So um, again, you've got to buy all this stuff. Um, you've got to get the medium lever. So I don't know, to produce this, you're looking at about um, at least 30 silvers worth of stuff, probably more, to be honest. And then if you look up, um, so again, this has only got 12.9 damage. So, um, and this is what a mace. What level is this? It is level 20. So let's look at level 20 maces, 22.99. Here we have an item for um, 44. Um, it's got 12 damage per second, um, two agility, three strength. 
So 12, four strength. Um, I kind of avoid weapons because I kind of think that you need to put so many mats in to actually produce them. But, you know, if you want to try selling um, weapons, then, you know, obviously go for it. And certainly I hear at higher levels, people buy um, quite a lot of um, weapons and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it really kind of depends on the weapon and the market and everything else. Now, another method that you can use on the auction house is you can basically increase the value of all of the items in a particular range. So light leather is probably a bad example. You probably want to use um, heavy leather or something like that. But if you look at this, um, for you can actually buy um, 10 light leather for one copper 90. Now that's a really cheap price. So what you could hypothetically do is you could buy all these greens, put them back onto the auction house at a higher price. So you control the auction house basically, and you control all of the resources. If you're on um, a really well-established server, then a lot of people actually will do this, right? And they will actually kind of own all the um, leather on the server basically, or a lot of it. And they want to keep the price of leather high because people still want leather. So, and they're willing to pay quite a lot, especially on well-established servers where there's a lot of money flying around. So again, this is another method that you can use to actually make money on the auction house if you want to do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you found this video useful. I think you're probably better off just not using the auction house too much, especially if you're not the maximum level, right? What I'll generally do is sleep in a city, right? Then I'll sort of wake up in the city and sort out all my auction house stuff.